smoky chari noodles, little pops of prawn, and then a little bit of spicy heat from chili paste. This is my homemade version of the street food classic char kway teow. So guys, I know a lot of you are just as noodle obsessed as me and char kway teow, oh, can I tell you, one of my favorites. So I'm very excited today. We are going to start off with a chili paste, a homemade chili paste. And I've just got some dried red chilies here that I've had soaking in some hot water. Okay, so just give them a little bit of a squeeze. I don't need all of that liquid to come out because that liquid will actually help with the paste coming together in the blender. Okay, just a rough slice on these. Now, go in and just pour in some of that liquid as well from the chopping board, if you can, without making too much of a mess. And then I also want some fresh red chilies and then a couple of these little red Asian shallots. You could also use red onion as well. And then I want a decent amount of salt here. Now, let's blend that up. Okay, so you're going to need to scrape down the bowl every so often. Uh, if you have trouble with your paste catching in the blender, you can just put like a tablespoon or so of that chilli soaking liquid in there and that'll help. But mine is looking pretty good, I have to say. So this is the kind of situation that you're after here. Mm, I can smell those dried chilies too. Oh, they smell spicy. Now I want to cook this paste off in some oil, so I'm going to add a few tablespoons in here. And I want a gentle heat. I don't want these chilies to burn. Okay, and you just want the barest hint of a sizzle as you fry this chili paste. So just two or three minutes, just enough to kind of take the raw edge off the shallots and the fresh chili. And that is looking beautiful. Now you'll have too much for this one dish, uh, but you can use this as a little bit of chili spice for stir fries, just on the side of some grilled chicken and rice. Uh, you'll find lots of uses for it. So I'm gonna pop it into a jar. Oh, and I love a little bit of this on some fried eggs in the morning too. That's also good. So next up we want to make our stir fry sauce and this is very simple. I've got some soy sauce, oyster sauce, some fish sauce and some dark soy sauce. So this is actually a sweet dark soy sauce. So it's a little bit thicker than your regular dark soy sauce, but either is fine. And then a little bit of sugar to round out all those salty flavors and a little dash of black pepper. Okay, just give that a mix. Okay, so let's talk about the noodles. And what you need here are fresh rice noodles. So you can get these from an Asian supermarket. I also have a video on my YouTube channel about how to make these from scratch at home if you're interested. And now for the proteins. So I've got some prawns here. I've got some sliced fish cakes. So these guys you can find in the fridge section of an Asian grocer as well. And then this is Chinese sausage or lap chong. And it's a pink color. It'll come in a vacuum sealed pack and I've just sliced these. I love these. They have a beautiful, sweet, porky pop of goodness when they're stir fried. Uh, one of my favorites. And these three are a typical combination for chakwe teo in Malaysia. All right, now the other thing we need to do to get ready is I want to chop up my Chinese chives. And you can see these Chinese chives are flat uh, rather than round and they have a really beautiful almost a little bit garlicky kind of perfume to them if you can't find these just use spring onion you just want to cut these into little battens okay I want some eggs as well now traditionally you would use some pork lard or pork fat to cook the noodles in I'm just going to use vegetable oil because it's a little easier at home and you can see that smoke from the wok I'm going to add my garlic in and my Chinese sausage and the fish cakes and the prawns Okay, just toss those around a little bit and you can see this is all happening really quickly as it should. Getting a nice char on some of these ingredients. And now in with a teaspoon or two of this chili paste. These chilies are hot so I know this is going to be a little spicy. Totally up to you how much you want to add. Okay, now move everything to the side. I want to make a little space here for my egg. I'm going to add a little bit more oil in with my egg. Now spread that egg out. Okay, now toss everything together. Now I want to add in my noodles and the stir fry sauce. Now just keep mixing everything through here until all of those noodles are beautifully stained with that sauce, just starting to char and catch on the edges. Now this is not one of those saucy noodle dishes. It should be quite dry, so you only want the barest amount of sauce for those noodles to soak up and get a little bit of flavor. Okay, now I want some bean shoots as well and my garlic chives, it's all of that together. Ah, oh, look at that, beautiful colors, chari noodles, and we're done. Just get that onto a plate, 
And there you have it guys, a very easy homemade version of char kway teow that I know you'll just love because I love it. <laughs> I'm going to try it now. Oh, fresh rice noodles would have to be one of my favourite things in the world. Just a little bit of spicy, smoky noodles. Mm. This is such a great dish guys. Can't wait for you to try it. If you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one. And that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks guys.